Hey everyone, welcome again to the Professor's Podcast. I'm as usual your host. I'm Hurricane Liz and I'm an Amazon seller, longtime Amazon seller. Howie and I have been doing this for a very long time and we just came to meet one day and we got along really majestically, right? Would you say that's about right, Howie? And uh, what do you think? Well, yeah, we met a while back, two years plus, a while back actually. And then I knew that this is my, my girl. She could she could help me help me out with what we were doing on uh, masterminds and all educational stuff that we're dealing with. Yeah, our- and you know a lot of people have asked how we met and why exactly I'm hosting your podcast and helping you do it. And well, truth be told, how we and I do host a usually four times a year virtual mastermind. Actually, it's a live mastermind. This year we're going to actually have to do a virtual one thanks to coronavirus, and we typically get the top and the elite sellers on Amazon. And I know in a previous podcast, I said they make a combined 400 million a a month. I actually meant a year. So I totally screwed up on that. I apologize. And sometimes, you know, you just screw up on these things. No, it's actually half a, half a billion, 500 million for that, for that, those 30 people in the room. Thank you so much, Howie. So I see I missed a whole hundred million and let's face it. $100 Hundred million is a lot of money. We're, how he's acting like it's just a uh, jump change here, but it is to the sellers in his actual mastermind. But uh, you remember, uh, one of our speakers was uh, doing a six hundred fifty million dollars. Yeah, six hundred. That's that's insane, and and that's the kind of things we do. In the the actual event that we had in China, we did visit that factory with that particular seller who had over three thousand employees. And one of the reasons that I'm bringing this up is because one of the differences in this online virtual mastermind, as opposed to the live ones that we do hold, is we're getting an elite number of underground sellers to come live for the very first time and kind of reveal themselves and show us some of the tips and tricks and strategies that they're utilizing in their business. And we're taking it to a whole nother level. Now, usually when we get together, we just had one in Mexico. In Mexico, I will say that the tequila came out and Howie was no stranger to that tequila. By the end of the actual mastermind, him and Don Julio were best friends. Is that correct, Howie? We could say that. We are good friends now. Yeah, the best of buds. And all sorts of secrets come out when people are drinking, having a good time, and just get the chance to actually meet together and talk. However, this is going to be a little different, but I will say that Zoom is still a fantastic platform, and I think we're going to do a little combination of different things, but you'll still get to have one-on-one interaction with the actual speakers as well as the guests. So I think it's going to be a fantastic time. How about you, Howie? Um, it's going to be different because now we can reach a lot more people than my, what we normally do. Usually my uh, mastermind that we do is for about 30 people in a closed room. But now a lot of people have been asking me to like, hey, uh, Howard, why don't you do this online thing? And I'm like, uh, it's kind of, I kind of want to make it more um, private. But for, for, this, for this occasion, because of the virus, so we uh, want to see if we can uh, see how it goes with this um mastermind a uh, virtual mastermind absolutely and i will give you guys more details at the end of this actual podcast as to where exactly you can get more information but today we have a completely underground guy and in a minute here i'm going to introduce him to you but let me just say this how he has become world renowned for combing the globe and finding sellers in the dark crevices of the world that we don't even know exists. Like they're really down there. The guy that we have today has been underground and he's just been crushing it with his strategies and kind of just working in a tiny little corner in his own part of the world, minding his own business, but making a ton of money with Amazon. Howie, you want to tell us a little bit more backstory about how you met this gentleman before he, he tells us a little bit more about himself? I actually met him during one of the another mastermind that I went to. He was actually in a corner or something, like minding his own business, and then all of a sudden, uh, someone mentioned him, and then uh, he said, "Oh, you should meet this guy. You know, this guy is like the man that he's like he's a really big in Israel. So uh, he's from Israel. So I don't want to tell him." Don't talk too much about him. I want to him to talk, talk by himself because uh, I think he has a lot more to offer than what I. Uh, I don't want to. I want him to say more about what he does. Absolutely. So let me go in and introduce him a little bit more to you guys and gals, the one or two gals that do listen 
to what Howard has to say. <laughs> but this is none other than Shlami Nidam. And as I said before, I've become known as the butcher of Amazon for primarily butchering people's names. So Shlami, in advance, I already apologize in case I pronounce that incorrect. But tell me a little bit more about yourself. And in fact, let's just pretend you met Howard for the very first time. And you obviously know that he's Howard Ty, the professor of all things he's becoming, but primarily he knows a great deal about Amazon. And you really want to impress him. You want to tell him what you're made out of. And you've got two minutes with him on an elevator. Pretend you're on an elevator with him, and in two minutes, you want to tell him who you are and why you're so special to talk at his mastermind. Great. So first, thank you very much for having me here. And it's really a big pleasure to be with a professor, one of the biggest guy in the world in Amazon, the biggest mastermind that I know. And I know a lot of masterminds in all, all over the world. This is definitely the first one, the, the biggest one in the world. So it's really a pleasure and thank you for that, for having me here. So um, I'm, I'm Shlomi, I'm living in uh, Tel Aviv in Israel. We have, I have a company called Needham Communication and we are about 50 people with offices in Dallas, Texas, in Bulgaria, Varna, offices, warehouses, logistics center, technical support, everything. Is in in-house. We are a team of 50 people, and we are selling 40 million dollar only on Amazon platform. 40 million dollar a year, one year, 40 million dollar. This is a great number, and we are growing every every year in about 30 percent. That it's huge number, and I think what I'm seeing that in the next two or three three years. We will grow more and more, and the growth will be more than 30% even than year, every year. And we, we can see that, you know, Amazon, it's almost $1.5 billion, uh, billion dollar company, and um, now a trillion dollar company, sorry. And in, in the next few years, I guess they will pass the two, two trillion. So this is exactly the place to invest this is the platform the people that are not selling on amazon today i think they are missing something they are missing they are missing all the technologies and and how to make money in this in this presence so so we are, we are doing that this is our main business uh, selling on amazon i'm going to tell you more details uh, later on but we are now spread in 15 shops uh, on 15 countries this is almost all the countries that uh, amazon is selling on except one or two uh, countries we are selling on all over uh, where amazon present of course it's america europe uh, asia and australia dubai and other and we are generating a huge a huge uh, revenue today in very low, let's say, overhead. So this is what I like in e-commerce business and particularly in Amazon. I want to tell everyone because like right now, like uh, Salam says, it's a big opportunity for being an Amazon seller. For those that are listening to us right now, I'm sure that they're already doing Amazon or they're, uh, or they're, or they're starting. But uh, because a lot of people right now are actually in America, they have less, like, unemployment so high, and they're getting used to working at home now. If you get used to working at home, you're going to be addicted to it. As well as, you know, like Twitter, they just announced that all their employees will work, uh, can work from home forever if they wanted to. So that's a very interesting, the culture and stuff about how uh, companies adapt to the pandemics. So... Another question um, I wanted to ask you, I know you said uh, you're going to tell us later, but maybe uh, I wanted to know what, what, what do you consider yourself the expert in, in, in all of Amazon regarding what's your expertise, the deep, deep trenches of Amazon? What do you think, you know, Amazon is a lot of stuff. A lot, there's, you could be a, 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 an expert in a lot of fields, PBC, ranking. Um, you know, like funnels, you know, like uh, mini chats. And so what, what are you really uh, good at that you think that you are an expert at? So, so actually I'm, I'm dealing with Amazon only back to 2014. So it's six, six years about. 
But my business is established in 2000, so it's about 20 years. So from 2000 to 2014, what we do is, let's say, wholesale business. We bought a lot of goods in a bunch and sell it from country to country. So we trade in goods. We buy in China, we sell in Germany. We buy in Germany, we sell in the U.S. and so on. But in big, big business, like 200, 300, 500K orders, and the customers was all seller business, like brokers, dealers, uh, stokers. And in these years, we, we, we get a lot, a lot of connections with distributors, with vendors, with factories, with a lot of uh, logistic companies. So we, we have very well, we, we well known the market, how it's work, where you can source goods in good price, what is the, what is the uh, uh, categories that you can make more margin, what is the categories that you, you have to uh, invest more for or PPC or in, in, uh, marketing. And, and like that, we build a lot, a lot of database that we use uh, was once we start on Amazon. So we took this niche of uh, reselling and we do a lot of reselling. You know, in Amazon, there is so many businesses like private label that most of the people doing. There is a uh, retail arbitrage that it's most of the time small business because you buy some goods, you sell it on Amazon, you make some difference and it's nice. And there is a big business like uh, dropshipping that Amazon don't like it. So they block a lot of accounts of dropshipping. You cannot prove uh, your sourcing. And uh, if you prove your sourcing that it's from other retail, they just block your account or, or inactive your uh, listing. So it's not, it's not a stable business. And there is a super brand. This is something we do and we call it super brand. We are selling a big brands over Amazon. We get brand approval. This is a process. It's not so easy, but we, are, we know how to do the process. We get brand approval. And then we are selling big brands. We know where to buy it. We have contract with the vendors or with distributors. We know how to promote it. It's the PPC business, the, the, the strategy for advertising here, it's, uh, it's lower than uh, private label. The investment is lower because you don't have to educate the market with big brands. Uh, everybody know uh, what is a new balance or Apple or Samsung uh, product. And they are looking for that on Amazon. So if you have stock, you will sell. If someone else has stock, he will sell it. It's not, not a big deal. What you, what you need, you need approval from Amazon. You need to know where to buy the goods. You need to make sure you know how to prove Amazon where you buy the goods. And of course, to, to buy in the right price. So when you have all these things, you can make a huge business with very low investment. So this is my main niche today. We are, we are selling in all over the, uh, the categories like electronics, consumer electronics, uh, uh, and shoes, clothes, babies, jewelry, and cosmetics and other products, kitchen and home. And we buy goods and sell goods, mostly branded. There is a lot of challenges. It's, it sounds like it's very simple, but it's not simple. It's very, very challenging. But it's, it's, if, when you know how to do, deal with Amazon on that, so you can make a huge business for that. So this is one thing we are doing. And yes, sir. <laughs> no, uh, go ahead. If you have, if you, go ahead, finish up. Yeah, so this, this is actually the, the fuel in our, in, 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 our, uh, in our business. But in the macro, we, we are doing a business not only for us. So we find out that there is many people, regular people, not Amazon sellers, regular people that want, uh, that understand that this e-commerce business and Amazon business it's something special. It's an opportunity that they want to be part of it. They see that Amazon is a huge company. They see that everyone buying online. In, in the U.S., it's 52%, 52% of the e-commerce business belong to Amazon. 
every second sales on in the US made on Amazon platform. This is, people see that, you know, just regular people, lawyers, accountant, government worker, people that, just the simple people, they, they look at that and they say, wow, this is amazing. This is amazing business. And I want to be part of it. Now, some of them become Amazon sellers. They take courses, sometimes they success, sometimes not. The statistics say that 90% pay. If, if we have 2, 2 million, 2.5 million sellers account on Amazon, we have 250,000 sellers, uh, professional sellers, people that sell in more than $1,000 a year. This is called professional sellers. So only 10% success to do, to make some business. All the rest, probably we lose the money or them just doing very small business. So for these guys that trying that and they not professional, they don't know how to do that. They not take a company or advisor or someone to help them with that. They probably, 90% the statistics say, they're going to fail. So 10% of them will, will make money, yeah, will be good. So what we took, we, what we understand and we took the opportunity is to help these people, the regular people, not the Amazon sellers, the regular people, to become Amazon sellers, to establish a business for them. So this is something we've done. I, it's, it was a very unique uh, model that we built worldwide. I talk with a lot of uh, uh, mastermind and uh, the, the, the biggest sellers in the world, and people understand that this is very big opportunity so when you took a regular person and want to explain him the amazon business so what we do is we took the real estate market and we make an analog to a digital real estate business so what we build it's a digital real estate business businesses for a regular people this is the main business for us today this is what we do and we have more than 250 Amazon accounts that we built from scratch. And of course, together with the professional like Howard and others, we do like uh, a big business for these guys with a small investment. So, so like you said, we're in, we're talking, we're, we're actually doing something together where we help, can help these uh, sellers and their brands to move up to the next level. Okay, so also regarding, I want to add it on to him. So about licensing for big brands. Right now, this is a new uh, trend in China where uh, people are actually um, trying to license uh, big brand items to so that they can sell their products. Maybe a second tier brands, not the first tier brands, because most likely tier brands wouldn't want to work with them. So uh, trying to get the second tier brands to uh, go in and and give them the license agreements to sell the products, as well as I think a lot of people in Israel, are, uh, are actually in um, in Brooklyn, the the Jewish uh, yeah. community, they also do something community. similar like that. Uh, they're, they're really big. We, we have another guest that's going to talk about the Jewish community in uh, New York and New Jersey side. So we'll wait for him to talk more about that. But um, uh, stay tuned on that. So, yeah, that, uh, it's really interesting how your business model works. And I've heard uh, some some similar, similar business models. So, uh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. And, you know, I was just going to say, Shlami, you have such an unusual and unique approach to Amazon that not a lot of people have actually thought of. I actually do a similar model. It's one of the many models I have. I do FBA. I dabble in a lot of things because at the end of the day, that's what I'm paid to do is test things out to see if I can simplify them for just regular Amazon sellers, not necessarily the gigantic Amazon sellers. So my question to you is based on the actual wide area of expertise that you have trying all these different business models, what three to five different topics have you thought about and prepared to speak about at the professor's pandemic event, which is going to be held live online at something that would wow people that maybe people haven't even heard of, or something that you just think hasn't been represented correctly. And you kind of have a thing to say about it. So, yeah. So first, the first thing that don't, don't afraid from brand from big brands. This is something that I see that 
many Amazon sellers choosing the, the, the pass of private label only. So don't, don't worry, you can sell big brands and not only private label. This is something that I think most of the sellers are afraid from. They, they very worry about Amazon, how they react, the compliance, if the performance teams will block my account, what what going on if the brand will uh, uh, will uh, 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 complain and I'm not going to get my my money back or whatever? So I'm I so one thing I I want to say, you can sell ton of money in a big brands with very very big volume, only uh, in big brands. And don't forget that Amazon want your money, want you to invest in stock in inventory this is something that people are very afraid from and i think it's not don't afraid this is a big opportunity this is one thing second i think that today every amazon seller can grow his business can grow in business only uh, if he can help other people to get into the amazon business because at the moment, everyone focusing on finding product, promote their product, and that's all. I think if each one of the Amazon sellers that have the uh, opportunity to help his friend, his family to get into this business, he can grow his own business and help them to make money on this platform. I'm, I'm just saying that the opportunity of the, the internet give us opportunity here. And for, I don't know, maybe 15 years, the internet gave us a lot of opportunities. And here, Amazon gave us the opportunity to help people make money over the internet. So go for it and you can make money on that. Yeah. You know, Shlomi, I know that you mentioned that you feel like Amazon is the go-to place and you see it's the place to put your money in the next couple of years. Let me ask you this question. Are there any other sites other than Amazon that you recommend people are on? Like, have you tried Walmart, Walmart works or any sites like that? Or do you just strictly recommend 100% right now, the next couple of years, you should go all the way with Amazon? <laughs> it's a good question. Um, to be honest, it's in business, you always have to spread the, the investment. Yeah, the, the, you have to invest in few places. But... For my experience, I'm, I'm looking at Amazon, you know, I see just one thing, one asset that's very, very interesting me in Amazon. And this is why I make business with Amazon. Only one thing, only one asset. It's called Prime Member, Prime Membership. You know, they have like 400 million people over Prime Membership. This is the asset of Amazon. I want to sell on Amazon only because they have 400 million customers. No one has it. No, no one. You cannot find other, other website or, or marketplace that have this amount of, of members. And these guys pay $99 a year and get free shipping and get cashback and get all kinds of benefits. They, you know, they, when you pay $99, you just want to return it. You want to get it back. And how you get it back? You just buy goods. So you make five to 10 order a month. This is the average of prime member. Five to 10 orders. So we talk about billions of orders every month. So I recommend to work on Amazon. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I do. I kind of agree with what you have to say. Where on Amazon, it's so big itself, and has so many people that we should uh, concentrate on conquering Amazon. I think I've said this before. Uh, Amazon itself has about like 15 countries plus, maybe. Um, before it was like 12, uh, but now it's like 15 plus. So, uh, if you haven't already with your current product line, launch it to all the other countries that Amazon has to offer then you shouldn't really start on other countries yet because the learning curve to jump on each different countries is huge. 
but you already know how Amazon works. You already know how Amazon, let's just say you start in the U.S., you already know how the structure, all the all the systems, of what Amazon is looking for, like health-wise, require, you know, to make sure that you won't get suspended, all the, all the research that you did, all the learning curve that you went through. So you can just uh, copy this from one country to the next and – and know you know how to rank products, you know how to get reviews. So you know you just do that. So if you go to another place like eBay or Walmart, you might need to relearn your thing, and it'll slow you down a lot. So well, I would I would suggest you with resources, you know, of course, uh, if you have the resource, you have the money to grow to other other countries. That would be uh, the best. And I already have the products already. You already have the products. So it's uh, pretty easy. To okay, so I have another question for you. Uh, what do you think is the problem uh, that you see that a lot of these Amazon sellers are having right now in 2020, in particular due to the pandemic? Oh, yeah. So first, it was not... Uh, now, you know, now it's start to be... We are back to normal, start to back to normal. Uh, but in the last one, uh, one and a half months, it was really tough will it have to be an Amazon seller? In one hand, we see the opportunity because, you know, more than 100 million people was at home. That this is uh, um, a good opportunity because people buy online. In the other hand, people mostly buy um, uni a unique product like essential products, sorry. So they didn't buy luxury products, they didn't buy, you know, clothes and things that they just want to buy. They bought mostly product that they need to buy. And this essential product took over on most of the business that happened. So it was really challenging that, that kind of area, that the product size. And the other hand was a lot of factories was shut down. The, the airplanes, the, air, the aircraft not, not, fly, not flew. So you cannot refill your, your stock when you're empty. And of course, at the end, Amazon, at the end, it was like after one month uh, from, from the beginning of the epidemic, they shut down the FBA business. So you cannot ship goods or you was limited with just the stock you can ship to FBA. So all these uh, parameters, you know, change the business a lot. And I guess that uh, all of us, as Amazon seller, feel it uh, in our numbers in that that uh, uh, kind of uh, months. But now it's start back to to normal, so we can see that Amazon uh, opened the FBA. We can see Amazon uh, stop the limit of the stock. So and we see, of course, China is back to to produce, and uh, we still have a. a, a logistic problems uh, because the prices is very high at the moment but I think in the next two to three weeks it will be back to normal um, at least in the US and Europe okay so we just talked about the problems that that you see in 2020 so how about the opportunities what do you see at the opportunities of Amazon sellers now in 2020 oh so <laughs> So I don't, you know, the epidemic is also an opportunity because people understand, I mean, the end users, they, they understand that they can buy online very, very easily. A lot of countries that's not used to work online, I'm not talking about the U.S., yeah, that's just, most of the people buying online, but other countries that's not used to buy online, the percentage of the, the e-commerce business was increased dramatically. And these guys buying also from Amazon. It can be Amazon.com or other, other platform, but, but they are buying on Amazon as well. So as a sellers, if we are ready to sell, as an Amazon seller, if we are ready to sell internationally, and sometimes you can sell from, the, from your US shop, from the Amazon.com shop, you just have to go to the shipping setting and find out that you are open, the, you are offering your product also to international sellers. Then you get more business because there is a lot, a lot of people, that, new people, new customers that buy online uh, after this epidemic uh, hurt us, or hurt the world. So this is a big opportunity for us as Amazon sellers. If we are ready, we can increase our sales, definitely.
Amazing. On that topic, Shlami, I know that you have such experience in a broad number of categories. What categories do you see as opportunities for sellers in general? Like what categories do you see absolutely exploding in the next six to 18 months because of the pandemic? So first, I think all the categories are good. And if, if you make a good research or you have the right, the right advice, uh, how to find the product, how to find the, the, the right SKU, you can, you can uh, make money and good money and increase the business. But because of the, the epidemic, uh, I think that most of us as an Amazon seller didn't sell essential products. Most of us, you know, I, I have uh, like 80, 80 meetings uh, a week with customers. So, and, and half of them come in with me with a patent and all kinds of things. They think that on Amazon, you have to sell something very, very special. And if it's not special, you cannot sell it. I think they're wrong. I think this is not true. I think we have as Amazon seller to have in our portfolio also essential product. Also, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, that if my granny buying that and my daughter will buy that, this is a good product. This is a good product. If it's something that I buy today and tomorrow it's not, it's, it's like trend, trend, trendy product, I think it's not good to invest in trendy products. Maybe you can make money today and tomorrow, but what, where is the future? So, and, and in Amazon, you need the future. You have to look at the future because you invest a lot of money in PPC. You are promoting your product. You want a ranking your product. So you have to have a product that you can sell in one year, in two years, and in 10 years. And this is exactly the product I recommend my customer to focus on. So like you said, trendy products, I would always like uh, tell people not to go into trendy products such as like fidget spinners, hoverboards, or as well as face right. masks. <laughs> well, face masks are not trendy, but still like when there's like a lot of competition or people running through it, you shouldn't go towards it because stuff happens, you know, people like quality wise, you know, a lot of people have problems with and things like that. So uh, if you're not a well um, established seller, I wouldn't go to trendy product because it's a hit and run kind of thing. Okay, um, so I wanted to wrap it up here. Do you have any final words that you want to tell our audience? Yes, yeah, so again, uh, continue investing in Amazon. It's good that you're an Amazon seller. You choose right. This is exactly the future. This is exactly what you have to do. Amazon is the right place to invest. And we are he here to help you. And I'm, I'm sure that you can grow the business in a few years and to be at least $1 million business. There is already 15,000 15, shops that over $1 million. This is a lot, a lot of people that start slow and, and continually six years, five years, five, six years, and they have a $1 million business. And I think people that continue and not stopping in the middle can make very, very good business on Amazon. So continue doing that. So I'm, I'm like, this is a, this guy is like $40 million seller, you know, he's like a dinosaur hidden somewhere in the, in the back, you know, a lot of these big sellers, they don't talk, they don't come out and talk because they feel like it's a waste of time or if they don't want to like tell people their secrets. But uh, we had him here uh, teaching us things. And also we're going to have the ma uh, virtual mastermind at the end of June. So I'm sure he has a lot of big topics, like he was saying before of what he's going to talk about. So I can't wait for that. Liz, any final say? Yeah, it's exciting. It's very exciting. I know that he's doing some of the similar business models that I do as well. Yeah, you know that, how I've been selling essential products all through this entire thing, and my sales have just skyrocketed on multiple Amazon accounts. Yeah. And I know that's a lot of people saying you can't have multiple Amazon accounts. <laughs> yes, you can. So um, right. I've done it. Obviously, Shlami's doing it. And this is the kind of knowledge and information you get. I'm starting to sound like Ty Lopez. The knowledge we get by <laughs> attending masterminds like are like underground. <laughs> so this is the kind of information that you will be getting at the first ever Professor's Pandemic event live virtually online at the end of June. We'll have a date very soon. But if you want to find out more information about how to attend that and listen to Shlami and the several other speakers that we had thus far, as well as some surprises that we'll be slowly adding then I suggest you go to 
e9mastermind.com forward slash PPE, which uh, we should have all been selling, as Shami pointed out, record sales if you were selling any of that stuff. And uh, I, for one, was selling a lot of it and as well as uh, Shami was. And there's a lot of things out there that we didn't really pay too much attention to. However, they can make us money. So the focus of this event will be to put more money in your pocket. And I will say for one that the last actual event that we had before the pandemic, and this was down in Mexico, I took one tip from that actual event. And not only have I made myself a lot of money, but made a lot of the actual attendees there because I got so good at using this tactic that I set it up for several people, including Howie. I even set it up for Howie. So it just goes to show you the things that you can learn at this. Just taking one single tactic, I was able to not only save tens of thousands of dollars in my business, but also pretty much rank for anything effortlessly. And I'm on page one for pretty much everything. So not a, I'm just not a pretty face, Howie. I'm actually putting these tactics that you guys show me out there and crushing it thanks to Shlami and all the uh, talented speakers that you managed to find in these dark crevices of the world. What do you think about that? Uh, Israel is yeah. it's, it's, it's like a, a it's very um, out there. Like no one really knows too much about but i'm sure that when we have the mastermind we'll ask uh Shlomi to talk to us tell us more about it how their environment the selling environment what kind of skill sets they have you know so that'll be interesting exciting. very exciting so again thank you so much everybody for joining us and again if you want to find out more information about the professor's pandemic event go to a9mastermind.com forward slash ppe and you'll get to find out more about the speakers like Shlami and Howard and all the rest of the gang. So thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you next time with the next speaker. Thank you so much for having me here.